Let's get caught up on this forecast. We'll start out first by taking a look not only at the future cast and where the rain's going from here, but let's start out with an actual look at high def Doppler. And to do that, we get an overview of just how widespread the rain is this morning. We're looking at showers that are pretty much scattered heavily anywhere you go. It's raining pretty much Bay Area wide this morning. And a better bet on that not only is to take a look at how we've done so far, Santa Rosa's already picked up about six tenths of an inch of rain. That, that has already gone up about a tenth of an inch of rain since we started the newscast at 6 a.m. It's about a tenth of an inch of rain everywhere else. Let me show you why those numbers are all going to go up throughout the remainder of Sunday. We'll take the future cast from our 6 o'clock hour in the morning and just let it play throughout the entire day. And it takes really the entire day before this has cleared the Bay Area. Once we've gotten to 10 o'clock tonight, though, it's going to stall over the South Bay and, more importantly, perhaps the Santa Cruz Mountains. What should I mean by that? We'll take it from 10 o'clock at night on Sunday, let this play for 12 hours, and it just kind of rains consistently down here. And that's going to be an issue for the burn scar of the CZU fire up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. It's also going to mean San Jose comes away with better rainfall totals from this than most other locations do. But just as we start to get to the back edge of that, the next system arrives up here. That's 10 o'clock on Monday, and that one then marches its way across the entire Bay Area throughout the day. It won't rain as persistently as it does on Sunday, but Monday's rain could come in a little heavier. This will have a slightly better dynamics with it on Monday, so you really need to plan on rain both days. And then by the time we get to Tuesday, the system starts exiting. However, Tuesday, we still have a chance for a few isolated scattered showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm on Tuesday. Uh, the rainfall totals definitely tell a story here. Look at the South Bay. Much higher numbers there as we get to, to Tuesday morning. San Jose, three inches on the high side of the forecast. But still, whether you get three inches or two and three quarters or two and a half, that's still very good rain for San Jose. And it's better than most locations. Keep in mind, Santa Rosa, that eight-tenths of an inch of rain, we've already gotten about six-tenths of an inch of rain. So you're right up there at easily an inch and a quarter or more just along with the rest of the Bay Area as well. And of course, this is where the focus becomes for that 12-hour block. From 10 o'clock at night on Sunday to 10 in the morning on Monday, there's the red outline of the CZU burn scar. That's where debris flows become a concern strictly because of it. It's a, it's a lot of rain on uh, recently burned slopes. Wind advisory for everybody except the North Bay. It'll be windy for the city, peninsula, South Bay, and East Bay. We could see gusts up to 40 miles an hour. That stays in effect until Monday at 7 a.m. That's enough to break a branch off a tree. And then you get a localized power outage should that happen. So that is a possibility with this system. Daytime highs on Sunday stay in the mid-50s, relatively warm, but it'll be breezy and damp. So keep that in mind. And on the other side of the state, this is going to be a good snowmaker for us. Several feet of snow coming to the higher elevations with snow level down to about 3,500 feet. And as a result, there is a winter storm warning until 10 o'clock at night on Tuesday. Going to be very difficult travel. This would be the window of time to avoid driving in the sea. Uh, wait until we get towards late Tuesday, if not Wednesday, before you make those plans. And then the next system comes in on Wednesday. So actually, put your Wednesday Sierra travel plans on hold for now as well, because the next system comes in on Wednesday. Wednesday, second half of the day into Thursday, we'll see widespread rain moving across the Bay Area again and really all of Northern California. So the 70 forecast looks real busy. But we know it's today, Monday. Isolated showers on Tuesday. Next system gets your second half of Wednesday into Thursday, and then we'll clear things out by the time we get to Friday. But it is going to be busy around here, Devin, for the next several days. There'll be a lot of weather to keep a close eye on. So we kind of get this one-two punch. The first being heavier than the second, or...? In terms of the Sunday-Monday storm compared to the Thursday? Yeah. Wednesday, yes. The Wednesday-Thursday storm will not bring as much rain but it'll still bring a decent amount of rain. We get like one to three inches barrier wide from this first one. We could get about an inch on that Wednesday, Thursday storm. So these are the kind of storms you want because they're not deluges, but they do make uh, a good improvement on the drought. Yeah, keep them coming. Thank you.